Here's one thing they don't teach you about entrepreneurship in business school. I'm Alex Berman. I'm an entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur now. I run multiple companies. We've generated over $10 million in sales and growing. One's a marketing company where we help top digital agencies book meetings with billion dollar brands. Another one is Simple Apps. It's a collection of Shopify plugins. And a third one is our business course, Email 10K, where we talk about how to start and grow your own company and work with clients that can afford you. I also have a business degree. Uh, BS in marketing, bachelor's of science in marketing from Florida Gulf Coast University. So I've taken a lot of the standard business classes, finance, marketing 101, even an entrepreneurship class. And what they don't teach you in business school about entrepreneurship is how much of a grind it is. Meaning early entrepreneurship is trying to find an idea that'll make you money. And it's super sexy to go out and try to find this idea. Earlier this year, we launched two different apparel brands and that was cool. Initially launching the designs and then seeing people buy them. The first company got to four figures in revenue. The second company I shut down after a few months because I realized I didn't like the niche that it was in. But that whole exploration process is extremely fun. You're going out, you're brainstorming new ideas. You reach out to the marketplace. You see if anyone will buy. That is extremely fun, the initial exploration period. And that is actually one of the things we cover in our course, Email 10K, if you wanna check that out. We've generated millions of dollars of revenue just from cold email. It's not as straightforward and as easy as it looks. We have put together the cold email optimization checklist. To get it, go over to experiment27.com slash checklist, and you can have it for free. But what they don't teach in business school about entrepreneurship is that is just one small piece of the entrepreneurship puzzle. And a lot of people talk about that. There are entire books about the lean startup and agile processes and exploring business ideas to find what works. But 99% of entrepreneurship is the grind that comes after that. So once you figure out that your idea works, doing the same thing over and over again, finding a team that can fulfill that idea to the level of quality that you're used to, developing and growing that idea and the mental struggle that comes from not having that new exploration thing anymore. Entrepreneurship, sure, the beginning of it is exploratory and it's fun. And the end of it, the middle of it also, is extremely freeing, you don't have a boss. But if you don't take the time to build business systems, your business can get away from you. I know in the past I've spent hours and hours in meetings. I've done consulting calls. I've traded my time for money. I used to have my calendar booked back to back every day. And it was only seven months ago when I decided to really double down on business systems and create a company that runs without me having to engage with it every single day that I realized how little was actually taught in business school and really also by the entrepreneurs on YouTube or in business books. None of this is outlined and none of this is done for you anywhere. It's all going to be different based on your business. So finding the initial idea is super fun. The grind of doing that idea over and over again until you're at enough money that you can afford to hire a team. That grind is mentally tough to the point where a lot of entrepreneurs kill themselves. I actually made a video called don't commit suicide or don't kill yourself because of my experiences and consulting clients experiences. That's the hardest part about entrepreneurship. Then it becomes more like a job and you've got a team running it. You're outsourcing more and more. You're doing less and less of the work yourself. And then you get the ultimate freedom that everyone's talking about when it comes to being an entrepreneur. The freedom that I enjoy and my team, a lot of people on my team, my co-founders enjoy, which is you get to live anywhere. No one's bothering you most of the time. You're kind of doing your own thing. You're free. That's what everybody wants from entrepreneurship. But what they don't tell you is how hard that struggle is and how long that could take before I was able to get free of the client needs and seeing customer complaints and the day to day minutia of the business. I thought I was free multiple times. I had to get above the clouds and have things break, which forced me back down so many times. And it might happen again, right? I have no idea. That's the other thing they don't teach you about entrepreneurship in business school is how many landmines you place that you don't even realize are landmines at the time. Me and my co-founder talk about this all the time, or we used to talk about it a lot more when we have these landmines. It's like little mistakes you make that you don't even realize, or people you ignore that you shouldn't ignore, or people you hire that are actually bad that you think are good. Like these little mistakes that you won't know you're making until six months 
after they happen when everything blows up and you have to start over. And then it's the grind. It's the mental struggle of putting it all back together and not getting a full-time job. It's important to test your cold email subject lines to get an 80% open rate. The trick is to test a new subject line every 10 emails. 50 plus subject lines in a Google Doc that you can test with your cold email campaigns. You can have that for free. Experiment27.com slash subject. That's what they don't teach you. Because sometimes it seems like it'd be so much easier to go out there and just get a full-time job, a decent salary, nice six-figure salary, and go to work every day. But then you remember why you want to be an entrepreneur. Being able to wake up every single morning with no alarm clock and to choose not to work that day and have nobody to tell and just kind of not work, that's great. The freedom to do only the things that you're super passionate about and outsource everything else is extremely fulfilling. And there's the ultimate upside. If you succeed as an entrepreneur, one, you're gonna be extremely successful even if you're making less salary than your friends because you have this free lifestyle which allows you to do whatever. But two, on the other end of entrepreneurship is great wealth. That's the reason why a lot of us are doing it, right? You're either an entrepreneur for the freedom or the money or both, maybe the fulfillment. Freedom, fulfillment, money, or all three. And on the other side, it's great. And that's why we all do what we do. So that's what they don't teach you about entrepreneurship. If you want other things they don't teach you about entrepreneurship in business school, namely how to actually find clients, how to sell to them, how to build your business, how to get feedback from clients to actually make your business idea something that people will wanna buy without you having to sell it, meaning they buy automatically, check out email10k.com where we cover this in detail. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe for more content like this. We do business videos three times a week. You can also like this video to encourage this type of content. And let me know down in the comments, are there any other questions you have about business school or entrepreneurship? Would love to get a discussion going. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.